All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to the Pro Football Exclusive NFL Blog. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of the NFL season, week 15 of this year. We're having a great season headed towards the playoffs. Now, speaking of the playoffs, it's pretty much the beginning of the playoff season for fantasy football play. For some leagues, they started last week, but for most leagues, they're beginning this week. And I'm here to give you some key tips for your key matches this week, starting with the game between Jacksonville at Atlanta. I strongly believe that this game is going to be determined by who has the better running game between these two teams. Jacksonville has a great pass defense team who give us who give up the fourth least um, passing yards against uh, against um, offenses. So I strongly believe for fantasy football play that you should drop Matt Ryan and bench him this week against the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Now speaking of Jacksonville's passing game, they're the worst team passing the football. So I so like I said, I think this game is going to run down to to the running game between Michael Turner and M. JD Maurice Jones through. Whoever has the most rushing yards will win the game. I think Atlanta's going to win this game because of Matt Ryan's passing ability over on um, Blaine Gabbert, but I believe that Michael Turner is going to outbid um, MJD this week. So I'm going to have to go with the Falcons in this matchup. Next game to look at a big NFC East rivalry matchup between um, New York Giants and Washington Redskins. Not a big rivalry, but a good NFC East tough division, um, a tough matchup between these two teams. Now, New York Giants give up a lot of yards and on defensive side so I believe to replace Matt Ryan this week I think a good sleeper this week is Rex Grossman of the Washington Redskins he had a pretty good game last week against the New England Patriots and I think he's going to do well this week against that Giants defense and on, who, who give up the 28th most passing yards in the NFL so I think Rex Grossman should have a good game alongside Roy Hulu Jr. who was, be free, he was being that premier back that Washington needed this season but for this game I'm going to have to go with the New York Giants they beat the Dallas Cowboys last week. They're in first place of the NFC East and they're looking to win that division and make it to the playoffs. So I'm going to have to go with New York and Eli Manning. Next, Seattle's going to be playing at Chicago to face the Bears. I believe that the Bears are going to struggle in this game offensively. Seattle has been on fire, particularly in running the football. So basically, the Bears need to stop that run. And Marshawn Lynch, stop him from eating them skittles and getting so energetic. He has he has rushed for three straight 100-yard games, and I think he's going to do the same against the Chicago Bears and wear and tear that defense. Caleb Henney starting again at the quarterback position, and they had a good running back in Marion Barber the third. He had over 100 yards rushing last week, but he he had a crucial fumble in, in their game. But I think that Mary Barber III can have a good game against the Seattle Seahawks. So I believe that you should start him for the uh, for fantasy football play. Alongside a lot of other running backs I'm going to discuss later on in this blog. But for this game, I'm going to have to go with Seattle in this game. See, um, Chicago is actually fighting for a bid for the wild card bid against the Atlanta Falcons for that playoff spot. But without without oh, Jay Cutler at quarterback, I don't think Kayla Henry is going to get a lot of wins for the remainder of the season. So I believe that since Seattle's on fire as well, I'm going to have to go with the Seahawks over the Bears. Next game to look at, Cincinnati is going to be traveling to St. Louis. Cincinnati, Cincinnati has two Two straight losses. They're seven and six overall. They're still in the playoff playoff hunt. A running back that you need to look at is Cedric Benson against the Rams. He should have a good running game against this tough um, Rams defense who was terrible against the run. I think Cedric Benson is going to have a great game. And I'm going to have to go with the Cincinnati uh Bengals in this game because Sam Bradford is still trying to get everything together starting at quarterback. He's been banged up all year, missed for most of the season due to injuries, but he is now back. He's still rebounding a little bit, and he's facing against a tough Cincinnati defense. I think Andy Dalton and, and, and A.J. Green, the wide receiver and quarterback of the Bengals, they have a good chemistry going there, and I think they're going to do well in this matchup against the Rams. So I'm going to have to go with the Bengals over St. Louis. Next game to look at, New England's going to be traveling to Denver. Now, uh, for the past couple of games, we have been seeing Tim Tebow give you some miraculous comeback wins. I don't think he's going to have this comeback win this week against a great um, New England offense led by Tom Brady, who was one of the candidates for MVP award. He had a great game last week against the uh, Washington Redskins. Look out for Rob Gronkowski, his leading receiver with 15 um, receiving touchdowns this season, which is a record in the NFL. I think the New England Patriots is going to do well offensively. They're going to struggle on the defensive side, but I think their offense is going to put up enough points and not allow Tim Tebow to make a great comeback. So I'm going to have to go with the Patriots over the Broncos. Next game to look at, the New York Jets, J-E-T-S, Jets 
Jets, Jets, Jets are facing against the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia has been doing terrible on the pass in the passing game. Plus, on New York Jets, they're actually six in the NFL in passing yards allowed. I think they're going to do well stopping Vince Young and passing the football to Riley Cooper or whoever he's going to throw who throw the ball to. They're really concerned about LaShawn McCoy and stopping him, and that's their only concern on the defensive side. On the offensive side for the New York Jets, they've been doing well if running the ball effectively for the past couple of games. They're getting more mobility from Matt, Mark Sanchez, and with that, I think they're going to carry on and uh, their hot streak, their three-game winning streak to Philadelphia and beat the Eagles at Philly. Next game to look at, Baltimore, great Baltimore defense is facing against a good um, um, redeeming San Diego offense led by Philadelphia, um, uh, Philip Rivers, I'm sorry, not Philadelphia, I'm thinking about the Eagles, but Philip Rivers of the San Diego Chargers. So Baltimore is going to be facing against San Diego at San Diego. Baltimore has the best total defense in the NFL, in my opinion, fifth in passing yards allowed and second in rushing yards allowed. And I strongly believe that you should sit Ryan Matthews for your fantasy football play for this week against the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to have to go with Baltimore over San Diego. They're still trying to rebound everything together at San Diego. They are doing a lot better in redeeming themselves. They're still in the playoff hunt, but I believe that this Baltimore defense, especially having Ray Lewis back this week, I think the San Diego offense is going to struggle this week. Now, I need to talk a little bit about Ray Rice. A lot of people already believe that Aaron Rodgers is going to win the MVP award, but if it wasn't for Aaron Rodgers being so great this season, I really strongly believe that people should consider Ray Rice as an MVP this season. Without Ray Rice carrying the ball throughout these games, the Ravens have been struggling. When they do not give Ray Rice the ball, the Ravens lose. They have big losses to, they had a big loss against Jacksonville and a, and a loss to Seattle where he was under 10 touches. If he gets at least 20 touches a game, Baltimore has a great opportunity in winning their games, and I really believe that Ray Rice should be a candidate for the MVP award. I think he should do well against the San Diego Chargers, but I'm about to go with the Baltimore Ravens over San Diego. And the final game to look at, the Monday night game between the Pitt Steelers and the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to go with San Fran in this matchup. Ben Roethlisberger is still a little bit banged up. And Pittsburgh is going to have to play without Jerome um, James Harrison. He's due to a one-game suspension for a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit last week on, on Colt McCoy. So he'll be out this week against San Francisco. Plus, it's going to be at San Francisco. Frank Gore is having a great season. Alex Smith is having his best season yet under Coach Jim Harborough, who is actually one of the candidates for Coach of the Year awards. He's having a great season. Already nine wins. Clinched the N NFC West. They're already already in the playoffs. They're at home. I think they're going to do great against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I'm going to have to go with San Francisco over Pittsburgh. Now, a couple, two other running backs I need to talk about. Chris Johnson of the um, Tennessee Titans. They're playing against the Indianapolis Colts. He should be very valuable this week. Definitely start him this week, as well as Beanie Wells of the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona's going to be playing against the worst run defense team in the NFL. One of the worst run defense teams in the NFL in the Cleveland Browns. They, um, Cleveland Browns give up 150 yards per game allowing running the football so I believe that Beanie Wells even though he's a little bit banged up he still has enough juice in him to get you some great fantasy football points him Chris Johnson Cedric Benson and uh, Roy Hulu Jr. shall all have all four of these backs should have great um, weeks this week in fantasy football play so you should definitely start all four of them if you have them now the next time I'm going to catch you guys is next week for week 16 of the NFL season thank you for watching today's blog from pro football exclusive I'm your man the famous Akeem McCall be easy.